if we think of the universe as a continuum based on one universal process of energy exchange. Such a process would form what we see and feel as a passage or continuum of time, with an uncertain future continuously unfolding relative to the atoms of the periodic table. This can be explained using this diagram with an arrow of scientific explanation pointing down towards the atoms of the periodic table and an arrow of increasing complexity pointing up towards the great complexity and diversity of life. If we start at the bottom of the diagram, we see that there is no flow or concept of time in the subatomic world within the atoms. All we have is the distribution of positive and negative charge within the atoms. This is what we would expect if what we experience as a period of time is formed by a process of energy exchange relative to the electron probability cloud that surrounds each atom. At the most fundamental level, this is a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. This is represented by spherical harmonics on the diagram. Only a process of symmetry forming and breaking would form entropy or disorganization with a built-in potential for ever greater symmetry formation that we see in the great diversity and complexity of life. As we move up the diagram we have an image of a photon-electron coupling and a dipole moment. These are two different ways of explaining the same process with the future unfolding at the smallest unit of energy, the light quanta. Each photon-electron coupling or dipole moment only occurs once, but the process of energy exchange is continuously forming the continuum of time. This process forms a movement of positive and negative charge with the continuous flow of electromagnetic fields in three-dimensional space. This process also forms 100% antimatter annihilation, with the future being based 100% on the past. In the lower right of the diagram, we see this as symmetry forming and breaking, in the form of antimatter annihilation, representing the past, with a mirror image between the future and the past, at the moment of creation, or at each dipole moment. This forms wave-particle duality, and we have to move up to the next part of the diagram. In this theory, the wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons is forming a blank canvas that we can interact with, forming the possible into the actual. This can be seen mathematically with Heisenberg's uncertainty principle of quantum mechanics representing the uncertainty of everyday life at the smallest scale of this process. We are now on the part of the diagram that says one universal process. Everything below this part of the diagram is represented by quantum mechanics with the mathematics of quantum mechanics representing the physics of time as a geometrical process in three-dimensional space. Everything above this part of the diagram can be represented by classical physics as processes over a period of time, as in Newton's differential equations. With the time dilation of Einstein's relativity representing part of a universal process of energy exchange, slowing up the rate that time flows, forming the curvature of space-time. I believe there are two reasons why this theory is difficult to comprehend. The first is represented in the top right-hand corner of the diagram. At high temperatures we have a phase change of matter, forming plasma, with the same fundamental process unfolding at a much larger scale. 
in the form of plasma. The movement of charge can cover an entire star, or even a large area of interstellar space. The second reason why this theory is difficult to comprehend is represented in the top left-hand corner of the diagram, and is because conscious awareness, in the form of electrical activity in the brain, is an integral part of this process. We are within the process as an interactive part of the process. Each individual is in the center of their own reference frame, at the forefront of the creative process, with their own timeline from the past into the future. It is this personalization of the brain, being in the moment of now, in the center of its own frame of reference, that gives us the concept of mind, with each one of us having our own unique personal view of the universe. Conscious awareness is the most advanced part of a universal process, with a continuous stream of unbroken, ever-changing flow of ideas, feelings, dreams, and emotions, being part of the same universal process of continuous energy exchange that forms a continuum of time. Sensations are the building blocks of conscious awareness, and are formed by environmental stimuli. But in every case, these environmental stimuli exist in wave form and are converted or recreated into photon form by cell life with the movement of positive and negative charge. We have a republic of cells, with each cell having the build up and exchange of positive and negative charge across the membrane of the cell relative to the position and structure of the cell. This is a totally universal process, just as living cells in the eye can create photons relative to the waves of light that the eye comes in contact with. The atmosphere that the life form inhales and exhales also forms the exchange of photon energy with the diffusion of oxygen and carbon dioxide. The future is unfolding relative to each breath that we take and it is the same with our digestive systems, with food releasing photon energy as it breaks down. This process is based totally on cause and effect. We have an infinite number of dynamic interactive reference frames that make up our universe, that are continuously coming in and out of existence, with each reference frame having a timeline from the past into the future. When objects in our everyday life touch and interact, it is electric charge that comes in contact. Every movement we take and every thought we make, there is an exchange of photon energy with the movement of charge. The same process is responsible for all the properties of the chemical elements that we have in the periodic table, including all chemical bonding with an exchange of photon energy whenever the bonds form or break. Photon energy cascades down, forming greater degrees of freedom for entropy and chaos. These photon oscillations or vibrations do not just form greater degrees of freedom for the aging process that we all undergo as time unfolds. They also form greater degrees of freedom for the evolution and diversity of life that has led to the creativity of art, poetry and music. If we think of music as a structure over a period of time, then each person dancing to the music will have an uncertain future relative to their position and the energy and momentum of their own actions as the future unfolds photon by photon or moment by moment. At the smallest scale of this process, this uncertainty is represented with the Planck constant being a constant of action in the process we see and feel as time. Thanks for watching. As an artist, I'm outside the scientific community, so any help you can give in promoting this theory will be gratefully welcomed. Please subscribe and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.